Yo guys, it's Enzo HT here and I'm really excited about this tutorial. It's my engulfer tutorial as you've probably seen. I posted it two days ago and I said if it gets 50 likes I'll make a tutorial. And that's exactly what happened. So, I guess I'm making a tutorial. So yeah guys, what you want to firstly do is open up Cinema 4D. Now as you can see I've already set up my own scene with the background, the sky and the floor. It looks quite nice, you'll probably see afterwards. So yeah, let's begin this tutorial and what you want to firstly do is click on this squiggly thingy and you want to get yourself a rectangle and a circle like that and let's just raise these two up so you can see it more well like that and what you want to make sure is that your rectangle is larger than your circle this is key for the next part just like that all you have to do is click there and just pull these things so yeah now you've got your basis of the engulfer and what you're going to want to do is get yourself a spline mask now to get that all you have to do is click this green object here hold it down and go on to spline mask and make your circle and rectangle childs of that mask just by dragging them on make sure the arrow is facing downwards just like that there now don't worry that the circle is missing that's, that's totally fine now what you want to go to is go into spline mask Click on that and change the mode from A union B to A intersect B. Just like that. Now what you're going to see is that if you move your rectangle about, you're going to see that the circle starts to disappear and then appear when it gets there, disappear, just like that. And that's the basis of the engulfer that you've seen on my intro. Now obviously this is not how it looks. What you're going to want it to look like is this being a sphere. Now to do that, let's just close this. You're going to want yourself to get a lice nerve. Now to get that, you want to hold down this cube box thing and go into lice nerve is the one that has the shape of a vast looking thing. Just like that. And you want to just drag this on. And there you have it. There's the first part you want it. Now if you just move the rectangle about, just like that. You can see it starts, like, if we start from here. You move up it would engulf the one inside it and then you can always do that but yeah let's just keyframe that let's just go from our rectangle keyframe it at zero just like that keyframe and we'll move it up here oops let's just do that again uh, let's put it at 40 move it up just like that keyframe again so we have our motion yeah, you can do it at different angles just by changing, changing it like this, just change the angle of your spline mask and you'll be able to make it engulf in different directions. And yeah, let's just have a look at it. That is looking quite nice. Now one problem that I found and I have a solution to that is that if you go onto it, you're going to notice that the edges are not looking as neat as the ones in my intro now you can see they're looking quite nice nice and smooth now to fix that problem all you're going to have to do is just go into your, li your life nerve just like that and just increase your subdivision just go mad I'll just notch mine up to like 70 you're going to see that already looking so much better it's a lot smoother let's just put this nice glossy black on it Thing like that looking pretty sweet and yeah now one thing like you may have noticed is that in my ones there the actual our bit is all very thin it's not like a block you can see it about yeah you can see it that the layer actually is quite thin now to do that you're going to want to go to circle and click ring just tick that and then what you're going to see when you just shove this one down is that there's actually a, a ring in the middle just like that now what you want to do is whilst you're on the circle just increase your inner radius just like that and that's how I got that effect now you can just change change that about several times you might want to make it a bit more thick on the inner inner radius whatever you want it's your choice as you can see it looks like a lot more engulf engulfing happening let's just see that now it's really easy to make another one 
in golf, all you're going to want to do is just basically click your left nub with all those children to set all of these just like that hold that go to copy and paste it's as simple as that now what you're going to see you're going to be two let's just move one of them just like that there we have it and just basically just make it a lot smaller it's that simple and once you've done that just go over here put it in there and what you want to do is also go to the rectangle you're going to want to change the keyframe so they actually key they actually do it at different times because since this is the smaller one you're going to want to change the keyframe of the bigger one let's go to that one change it let's just drag this along to make it 40 and then that one go to 70 that's fine like that and what you're going to see is that smaller one goes first oh Oh, I know what happened there. Just go back to the rectangle. But basically, what happened is that. Let's just see that again. Yeah, it, it drags too much. It keeps going. Okay, let's just delete that one. And basically, drag that up so it stops there. That will do. That's fine. That's one. And there's two. Now, what you can always do is if you just click that always look from straight above to make sure that the inner one is is in the middle otherwise it's going to look pretty awkward when you do it make sure that's in the middle just like that now let me just put another color on this one so you can see see a lot better there's one there's two and there you have it you guys that's my engulfer tutorial by the way, I did name it myself. I don't actually know the real name to it, but I thought Engulfer sounds pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Safe, guys.